Hello my Dotty family and welcome to my channel. Come and join me on this magical journey through the world of dot art. I am Zelda from the Fairy Realm and today we're actually going to start dotting. Yay! <laughs> what you're going to need for this is your background paint in case we make a mess up and we need to fix it. Choose four colors for your palette. You're going to need your prepped canvas. Have a look at the previous video um, or the prepping video to see exactly how we've done that. Your 14 section design. This I have here just in case my paint clogs up. So what I do is I unscrew it if it is clogged. And then I just clear the blockage from the inside out with the spoke until I get fresh paint that comes out the nozzle because I don't want to jam it in this side of the nozzle because I don't want to widen the nozzle because we do use that later on. That's what the spoke is for. You're going to need your dotting tools, right? You're going to need your ball technique tools and you're going to need the bamboo tools or the tools running from 3 mil all the way up to 13 mil in size. You're going to need a paper towel, a touch-up brush in case we need it, your little cup of water and your palette. Now when it comes to your colors, I'm going to be referring to your colors as color 1, 2, 3 and 4. So place them in the sequence that you want to use them or how you would like your design to expand. So you can do from light to dark, from dark to light. You can go alternating pink, purple, pink, purple. The choice is yours. This is the sequence that I want to use my paints in. So teal, if you guys want to follow the same colors as me, teal is color one. I have wave blue as color two. I have baby pink as color three and I have violet as color four. If you would like to find out more about the paints, please go and check out my paint video. I'm just going to place them on this side here. One, two, three, and four. Right. If you do have my paints, just quickly shake them up. To make sure everything I've mixed in there mixes up nicely. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. What's that song? <laughs> shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Okay. I'm done. Okay. Color number one. I'm going to add quite a bit here because we're going to use the big 13 mol tool to do our center dot. So if you have the 13 mol tool, all right, finger grip right there. And then what you want to do is you're going to use the first circle. There we go. You're going to use the first circle as an indicator of exactly where your center dot should go. So see that it is equally far away from all of the sides of that circle and that's where your dot is going to go. If you haven't practiced dotting yet, go and check out the dotting practice video. Okay, so color number one center dot no pressure but this is the most important dot of your design because if your center dot is off your whole design is going to be off let me just shift this to the center okay so because i have got a hole in my canvas sometimes it doesn't give you that bubble so what i do is i just double dot it like i also showed in the other video Give it a nice bubble like that. Yay, our first dot is finally down. I'm gonna rinse my tool. So what I do is I just scrape it at the bottom. Color number one is down. Okay, next up we're going to use the green tool and we're gonna be using the big ball side, all right? So if you have these tools, use the one with the biggest ball. For this, we're going to be using color number two. So what you're going to do is you want to get it as close as possible to the center circle 
without touching it. You're going to re-dip your tool. There we go. And you're going to make a dot on each and every single straight line. If you've been following all of my videos and practicing a bit, this should be quite easy for you by now. Next, you're going to grab your 3 mil and color number 3. And then you're going to make a dot again on each and every single straight line. Now remember what I said about the circles. In relation to the circle, where is your dot falling? So mine is touching the circle line. If yours is slightly over, then it must be slightly over for all of them. If it's slightly under, it must be slightly under for all of them. But try and keep your spacing as close and as compact as possible to your previous row as you can. So you can see that my dots are falling center to the straight lines. Like that. Let's go to the 5 mole and color number 4. Again, sticking to the straight lines. So the more you practice, the better you're going to get. Now I can see that my design is getting a little bit big, so what I'm going to do, if you're right-handed, try and always work from the right-hand side, because if you're going to be reaching over your work, guaranteed you're going to smudge it at some point if it's still wet. So the twisting the canvases come in very, very handy. If you have a little lazy Susan, that can also really work. That's something I still need to get. There we go. How's yours looking? Is it looking like this? Hope so. Okay, then we're going to skip another size. We're going to go to the 7 mole. And now we're going to complete this little design again in color number one. See how your paint is doing? If it is still fresh enough to use. I've shown you what your paint looks like if it's a little bit too dry in the paint video. So again, in relation to the circle, my dots are falling slightly over the circle line at this point. So that's where I'm keeping all of my dots. Turn this around again. Now I can see my paint's getting a bit dry there. You start to see the first vein. Add some fresh paint here. Be 
Ustaz Look at that Yay, and this completes a little inside. So just the, the exercise of staying on the lines and then moving through different sizes and then also the expansion of it is done. If you guys have any comments or questions, please list it in the comment section below. I want to thank you for joining me on this magical journey and hope to see you again next time. Stay magical, stay dotty. Bye-bye. Every single day